G'day, it's John Canny here again. Just thought I'd give you a quick update uh, on what's been happening. Uh, firstly, let's just uh, have a quick update on the Ineos Grenadier. How's it going? Well, it's going great. Um, they've uh, replaced my side steps, which is good, and they've fixed my door seals. So I'm still waiting for that um, software upgrade for the, you know, a few little issues that we have with software, but uh, I'm promised that's going to occur shortly. But other than that, the car's going going really well, and I'm really pleased with it. So uh, it's interesting. After my last video, uh, I noticed in a few comments people suggesting that I'd made a mistake in buying this car, or suggesting that they were now going to uh, cancel their order. Well, all I can say is all I can say is I wouldn't be cancelling an order on the basis of. Uh, a few issues that uh, Ineos are having. I think their biggest problem they made was that uh, they tried to launch this car in in so many different countries at once. But uh, you know, I think any automobile manufacturer in these current times uh, is uh, suffering a few problems and not providing uh, the best service always. For me, I wouldn't be cancelling. But you know, everybody can make their own decisions. I think this is a great car. Um, what happened to my van? Well, that's another question a few have been asking. And uh, those who have seen my previous videos, uh, obviously I rolled it, did a turn turtle and uh, did a 180 degrees. So while it didn't appear to be majorly damaged, um, I flipped it back over and slept in it that night, drove another couple of thousand kilometers with it. But as it turns out, when I took it back to Australian off-road uh, caravans uh, and they examined it fairly closely, the repair costs were pretty high. There was a slight 15 degree sort of bend in the, in the top of it where it obviously uh, uh, rolled over. So the insurance company decided that it was a total loss and wrote it off, so I don't have anything. <laughs> so I've got nothing. Well, I haven't really because I've uh, now purchased a replacement van and I've gone for something different this time uh, for two reasons firstly to replace the AOR Sierra um, or any AOR van uh, was going to take probably 12 months to get a new one so as I said I've gone for something second hand um, and uh, it's a cup camper so this is a forward fold camper a totally different thing and why have I decided to give uh, one of these a go? Well, firstly, uh, I, I need something now that I can actually walk in and sit down at a table so that uh, that I can do some work there or Mara can do some work there. That noise is my speed alert going off. <laughs> um, and uh, the other option is that you know, uh, this Cub Camper, it's a Cub Camper, forward folder a frontier uh, there's room for my stepdaughter to sleep inside so we don't need to cut the rooftop tent around which you know something less to do so I'm pleased with that so cub campers are the only forward fold camper in Australia that is 100% Australian manufactured using Australian materials you know, there's a lot of so-called Australian-built caravans around, as they call them. But when they say Australian-built, they're bringing in, uh, in many cases, uh, you know, the, the structure and the van itself from uh, from overseas, from China, and then fitting it out and saying, well, it's Australian-built. But uh, the Cub Camper is 100% Australian, so I'm, I'm pleased about that. And it'll be a different experience rather than the... Uh, Pod camper, so I'm looking forward to that. So I'll uh, I'll give you some uh, details on that when I get it, and which is actually this, this weekend. And uh, I want to get away, so that's why I didn't want to wait for a new one. The other thing I'm doing is I'm heading down to uh, New South Wales to a Ineos Grenadier trial day. Um, this is run by one of the. Um, oops, slow down. This 
is run by one of the uh, dealers on the Gold Coast who's uh, highly regarded and in, in my opinion uh, you know doing great things for the Grenadier so I'll have uh, I'm going to shoot some video on that and he's making his own uh, they're making their own uh, accessories some are similar to the black sheep type uh, accessories and uh, It'll be interesting to talk to a lot of people after they've driven a Grenadier that have never been in one before. This is going to be an interesting day. So it's stopped raining now that I've gone south a bit, which is which is good. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss out on this. I think there's a bell button or something you press as well if you want to be notified. So I look forward to talking to you very shortly uh, about uh, this uh, Grenadier outing uh, that's uh, going to happen this weekend. See you later.